Dobar dan svima i dobro... Good afternoon and, and welcome to this meeting. This is organized at a media center with the support of ANMIC and today's panelists are Zorica Vurvoric, uh, journalist, of the movement of free citizens and uh, a member of parliament in Serb Assembly, Serb National Movement and Milija Mišavac, a, a leader of uh, C civic initiative in Zubin Potok. Thank you very much indeed and welcome. Let me mention that uh, the president of Serb list, Gordon Rakic, has been invited, but as usually, we haven't received any reply from his side, as it is the case uh, in previous months and years uh, when members of uh, Serb list are in question. As it is known, the Brussels dialogue led by Pristina and Belgrade leaders has been going on as of 2011. It is in a, in, in a way in, in a way it disrupted some Serbian institutions in the north of Kosovo and it, it in, enabled the inclusion of Serbs into the Kosovo institutions. Something has been implemented, something not. But what is the role of Serb, Kosovo Serbs in this dialogue? And is it necessary that they should be active participants in that process. So these are some of the questions that we shall talk about. We, so ladies are in advantage. That what is the real impact or impression of Serb list as the strongest political party and other representatives of Serb community in Belgrade politics towards Kosovo when Brussels dialogue is in question. Goran Rakic could have answered this question, but as unfortunately he, d he did not reply to our message. It is nothing strange. As you said, the impact of Serbs in dialogue and the Belgrade politics toward Kosovo, as, 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 as for me, is nothing. I am afraid that Serb list has no influence on citizens, respectively on Serb community in Kosovo, especially uh, after November barricades, uh, when when they when they did bad things to Serbian people, when they put the barricades, and when when they made people uh, be on guard for one month in cold weather, and they did not get what they requested. Their requests have not been fulfilled. Uh, except the Pantici that that was a change from pre-tile detention to house arrest, arrest. The only influence is Alexander Vucic. Serbs are not being asked, although casually they consult him and they have some meetings in Belgrade with Serbian President Vucic and today uh, such a meeting shall start at 13 hours, and he says, which he says he constantly consults with the Serbs from Kosovo, but Serbs are not asked for anything in Kosovo. The only representative in Kosovo institutions, Nenad Rasic, has has no information, has no contact with the official Belgrade and Serb list have no, has no stand. The only stand that they continually say it is the one on the establishment of Serb Association of Serb Municipalities in Kosovo and I don't think that it will happen in in a short time. People are left on their own. As I said, nobody is asking them for anything. 
Okay. We shall hear Milia Bishavat. What do you think? Is it necessary that Kosovo Serbs be active, active participants in in those Brussels discussions? What should their role be in that process? And uh, should they be asked if when such discussions are are in question? So they are all informed, just like us from media. First of all, thank, good afternoon, and thank you for the invitation. I would just uh, do a sum up of, of the things that happened about uh, seven or eight months in the north after the decision of the Kosovo to implement the agreement concerning license plates. Uh, 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 confiscating the cars and things like that. It came to, to the fact that, that the police in, in, in the north uh, resigned. This initiated a, a series of events so that Serbs left all the institutions living in the north. After a series of incidents that took place after, afterwards with the arrival of special forces in the north, the Serbs decided to express their dissatisfaction through barricades, saying that the Pristina government does not want to speak to them. But uh, after some uh, pressure from Belgrade and international community, the Serb list uh, maintained that decision that barricades should be removed without fulfilling the uh, the, rele the release of people who have been arrested and the removal of s special forces that were in the north. But n none of those uh, requests have been fulfilled. But at that time, the international community and the official Belgrade president of Serbia, Serb list uh, supported it, and, and, and they removed the barricades without um, any request. Uh, that were on the table at that time. But we can hear very frequently that the normalization of relations. I, I think that most of the citizens do not know what normalization of relationships means. And uh, we, we hear from internationals uh, the words uh, normalization of relations between Kosovo and Serbia. This process should have started much er earlier. Uh, with the signature of the Brussels agreement when Serbs uh, decided to join Kosovo institutions and to establish uh, municipalities according to Kosovo system. Uh, and then many institutions of Serbia have been uh, closed. The only condition for that was the establishment of Serb municipalities but it hasn't been done so far. So today we are speaking of the normalization of relations, which should include people, Serbs that live in Kosovo in, in Metohia, or they re received the freedom to speak, to speak the freedom of movement. And we have on the table a new agreement, which is the French-German plan, which has been accepted. It has not been signed, but it was accepted in Ohrid. During all this time of the implementation of Brussels agreement, Serbs have not been asked. Uh, they should have taken part and say that we are the only ones who know that because we live in these uh, places. And uh, people who spoke there are from Serbia and not people who live here. Whoever spoke against it during the Brussels agreement, some papers have been signed and it was to the detriment of Serbs living here. Everybody tried to do something. Who was against it was verbally lynched and uh, Kurtitachi and I don't know how. Unfortunately, Oliver Ivanovich and 
uh, his uh, murder has not been shed light into yet. It means that this is the answer to your question. Serbs have not taken part or have not supported that. The only implementator of that politics is Serb List, which has been use, using it to benefit for, for their own interests. And people were supposed to list what Belgrade orders. Today, Serbs in the north have a problem with the target plates. Special units are there, and there are many other problems. And the only way that we can be aware of it is to follow what is, is going on in Brussels. So we learn it from TV and from media and no other way. Thank you. Mr. Temic, you are one of the person who was at a time a member of the Belgrade delegation in Brussels talks. What is your experience? Should someone from Kosovo Serbs ask about the topics that are being discussed, or it is the issue of Pristina El Belgrade? Let me not say delegations uh, that, uh, that are composed of uh, Albanians from Kosovo and Serbs from Serbia. Good afternoon to everyone. Before I answer the question, <laughs> So Serbs have been deciding from themselves and they did not have the possibility to create a politics that would create their lives. During the communist time we were completely marginalized. Communist Party uh, th that, that was led by Albanians. With the arrival of M M Milosevic, we have a new structure established, uh, and our fate was uh, decided somewhere in Belgrade. After that, in uh, 1999-2000, what happened? And we ca come to a situation uh, that the international community partly decides about us. Uh, we, we live in, in some parallel system, parallel world. And to come to a situation to decide about lies, we need to have equality that we do currently don't have. Uh, 20 years and more, the creation of, of the normal society, who shall be speaking about your name with some turbulence, is the 17th of March or some other things that uh, they disrupt our lives uh, and i i don't know how much time we shall spend there institutions are provisional and we have never been in a situation to have an, a normal atmosphere to first uh, select the right people that shall speak on our behalf i believe on, on the moment when Serb Lista was established, that it shall come to the realization of the democratic process. And within that organization, there shall be the possibility that people influence uh, who shall speak on their behalf, even though it was something at the beginning, but later it deviated. And I'm not part of that political organization anymore. Uh, uh, as for as for my previous uh, attendance, I was part of that, but we could not decide on the topics that were discussed, and we could not uh, reach to, to a decision. We gave our suggestions and opinions, but we informed uh, the people we were collaborating with, uh, the local representatives, uh, what's going on in Brussels, and to understand a bit better that process. So that happened up to the first Brussels agreement, and I did not take part anymore. Some people went there, but I know that it was always at the level of goodwill of someone from Belgrade. And nothing was p permanent. It was kind of obligation. What is important for us, and not only concerning Br Brussels agreement, the Franco-German proposal, it's not the wish of either party, nor the interest of the people that live here, but it's the expression of the international politics because some other processes in the world have the need for this problem to be resolved or to seem that it is being worked on its resolution. And it's good 
uh, that it shall be worked on it. But from my point of view and from the people that live here, it means that the talks will continue. We shall have kind of stability and the dialogue process shall not stop because the most dangerous period for us is when there are no talks, when the conflict and the misunderstanding between Pristina and Belgrade goes out into the street. We saw it in the north of Kosovo and Metohia in the last month and I hope that Conflict will come back in Brussels offices, and I hope that people can work and live without the pressure of that dialogue. Thank you. Mr. Gurbovic, we usually say that you can see everything better from the far distance. How do you see the Brussels dialogue? in the delegation when there is no representative from Kosovo Serbs. Should Kosovo Serbs be there and what role should they have? And in 2013 we had Serbs in both delegations but in the last 10 years we don't have them. Uh, the, the fact that, that I come for, from Belgrade, it doesn't mean that we know everything better than here. So people who live here know better. Everything was played in Brussels and all decisions are taken in media center from a brain, from a person. To today, the representatives of Serb list uh, in consultations with Vucic, if if somebody wrote a, a, a new dictionary, if you do something, then, then it's not consultations, it's only reporting. You should invite someone and take notes. And what have you done concretely? It's not a secret that Kosovo Serbs in, in both sides, they were uh, not the subject, but the object of the process. Uh, they were the, the guarantees of that uh, process that uh, they shall pay the price. And that price was too high. And even when Belgrade did something in, on behalf of Pristina, uh, they did some cautious measures, but they were not on to the benefit of Kosovo Serbs, but they spoke on their behalf with less legitimacy. I also think that on the other uh, on their hand, uh, Albin Kurti missed a great chance uh, to represent himself as someone who is a, leg a, a legitimate Kosovo prime minister who says that he is the prime minister of all citizens of Kosovo and, and he should deal with integration of Kosovo Serbs, but this is kind of, of, of his problem. It, there is an important thing that I have felt, but I did not want to say it from Belgrade because I thought I did not have legitimacy, but from this so place I have Serbs were forced to go into the barricades. They were forced like a live burden. And, and later, without any consultations, without the fulfillment of any request, it is clear that for decades, the, the issue of cover Serbs is that they should take part. They were never in question. Uh, there was a, a, a try of their mobilization, of their homogenization, how they would be instrumentalized and used as a tool of Belgrade in, in some purpose of Belgrade and with some previous Kosovo leaders. What would be a long solution should be democratization of political life between Kosovo Serbs. Serb Kosovo political system provides a, b a better basis for democratization than the Serbian system in Serbia. Political system of Kosovo makes you, enables you to select whatever you want and then 
in, in a better way to identify their problems and define the resolution and finally to define the request that Serbia or tomorrow if they talk in Brussels or in some other place they would go. I, in a debate in Serb Assembly, I said that I'm not for red lines, for a ne negative imposition of our conditions, and we don't want what we cannot influence, but we should start the game and to come out what we should, in fact, want. What we want, it should be told by people who live here. They should be the guarantees of that agreement. We don't have that what Serb list is not the legitimate representative of the Kosovo wills in Kosovo and Kosovo Serbs. They are an extended arm of the governing party in Serbia. Of course, I owe Kosovo Serbs an explanation why the free movement of citizens, one of the first uh, political organizations that come from Kosovo that supported this agreement. We think that that framework that was made in Brussels in Britain, it is really adequate uh, and it recognizes the reality on the ground. But on the other hand, uh, the, there are open questions that, which are meaningful for Serbs. Is it the association of Serbian municipalities father form of their management? It is something that should be answered. And uh, the issue of protection of Serbian uh, churches and monasteries and cultural heritage is something that should be on the table. Whether we shall maintain the results of, of that uh, agreement, it depends on the quality of the content that shall be found at the end of the process. And when we wait for the end, how it started, I, I don't think that we shall we shall have that process concluded. For 20 and more years, uh, we think of in including Serbs in that process, but I don't think it is a late that they be involved and give their contribution and have impact on what shall be the outcome of that agreement. Because when we speak of the framework, uh, we have crossed that line, and it is something that we cannot change. Thank you. I shall give the floor to the colleagues, but, but let me say that uh, this uh, debate is live on Facebook, so I ask people who are following us to send questions if they have. Yes? Any question? Uh, until the colleagues think, can you tell us concretely, Mr. Gurbovic said uh, some time ago uh, that Prime Minister Kurti has missed uh, the opportunity. What chance did he miss? Uh, should Pristina call Serbs, invite Serbs to be part of their delegation? And this is the question for Branimir and Linia. Would you, would you accept to be part of the Serb Pristina delegation if you were invited? And would, would, you, be, would you accept if Vucic invited you? And if uh, President Vucic has consultations with the opposition in Serbia concerning this dialogue, or he just informs them, uh, as you said, through Serb list? This is uh, concretely linked to, to the question whether we, we shall talk about the normalization of relations, what do we understand with it. It's a g gathering that should guarantee that Serbs here or all people that live in Kosovo, they are provided the conditions to live. Uh, as you say, for the Prime Minister Kurti, who could have it is sure that he had the wish and many things could have been changed on the ground. 
But he didn't talk to Serbs that live here, and he never asked them about their problems. This is how the Serb, the Kosovo government looks at them, both at the Kosovo leaders and Kosovo Serb leaders. It's a constructive people that live here, and he have, they have not come here, but they live here. We should be here tomorrow together. We are a constructive nation. And if we change something at the Kosovo Pristina government with our actions and decisions, the government in Pristina pushes Serbs outside the institutions. And this speaks of the fact that we have hundreds of armed police officers in the north. We don't know what is the reason for it. They never talked with the Serbs. They don't, uh, they don't think us as a legitimate nation, but as a community who demands some rights. We can hear very frequently that they shall be a mono-ethnic. It's a pure lie. In, in the north and in, in the south, we have a mixed communities of that live. So even in the assembly, we have both uh, communities, Albanians and Serbs. The deputy president of the assembly in the north is an Albanian. Why many people are leaving Kosovo and Metoya? Why people are leaving Novo Burden? And people from Zubin Potok has, have been displaced, and those who haven't are they, they are packing their luggages because they don't see any trust in the Kosovo institutions. I think that there is no talk about this. Uh, uh, there is uh, there is no talk of being part of the Kosovo delegation, and there are a lot of reasons for this. First, all that Serbs demand, they are fighting against it. What Pristina should fulfill, uh, Pristina will not fulfill it. So that participation would be more a politically a marketing situation, and it would be politically detriment that Albania decide to do such a thing. Because we see that Albin Kurti he, he congratulates for the religious uh, holidays. And he says that we should talk about the national interests of Serbs. So we can speak whatever, but uh, I don't think that it is possible in this atmosphere, in these conditions that we have today. And the political situation, the Albanian leaders, how they represent, it's not even close to what is real. What would be better, it, it means that there should be a Serb representative, be it from the Serbian list. <coughs> and it would be better if in some wider consensus to decide that some other people in addition to Serb list that take part in the delegation. What is important to say and to understand is, regardless of the fact and this political life between Serbs, there is a political pluralism. We came to the fact that it should happen, and we need it. On the other hand, I think that Albania, it is not suitable for Albanians, not to all of them, because obviously they, they would they would like to have some Serbs speak what they would like to know. That would be useful for Albanian public opinion and not the truth, because the truth that we are speaking about is not liked by a anyone. And I think that both of the parties should be aware of, of the fact that the, the, that the lifelong reconciliation between Serbs and Albanians of Kosovo. So Serbs as a nation that live in Kosovo, that lives in the north and south of Ivar, there is no reconciliation between them. Serbs, Serbs are displacing themselves from the north and the south. But if someone, even for 20 years, to, to live without the need to throw stones and other things, 
as, as then let them think about losing their rating and popularity and they destroy every possibility to, to select. Thank you. Both parties want to have Serbs in their lines. On one hand, Albin Kurti wants to have Serbs that would be useful, a kind of an, a kind of a deed of his openness. And Belgrade want to have Serbs that are part of the ethnic grouping that shall support their politics. What is clear is that neither party wants to have citizens of Serb nationality. The Serbs that are free to think, that are active, that would pose questions and that would maybe do it. They look at Serbs as an object of this process, as kind of a decoration that could, strong their that could strengthen their position. It's a misuse of those people. You asked if there are consultations in Serbia on this topic. As I said, there are consultations after the agreement is accepted and after the uh, after they reach a road map in Ohrid. Whether it can be considered as a consultation, I think no. In such a process, we refuse to take part because we don't think that we should be we should not uh, stick to the will of one person if they do not consider us political actors that want to th hear our opinions. So no need to join after that. Whether, whether I would uh, uh, accept to be part of the delegation that was established in some arbitrary m measure, and this is Belgrade does uh, regularly, I would say no, because I would be part of the decoration of that process says if there was some other format and delegation uh, that, that would uh, strengthen the plural uh, political pluralism in Serbia or in Kosovo, I would not be able to avoid such a responsibility. This is a question which is more in the domain of the theory and abstraction that could be set before us in the future. Zorica? Do you have any comment? In what delegation should Kosovo Serbs be and should they accept? The question is which Serbs? Currently, we don't have uh, active participants in institutions except Nena Drasic, who is uh, the Minister for Returns and Communities. But yes, Serb Skalista was there just to extend the mandate and not to, to be left without the salaries that they receive. But uh, they object to what Kurti says. But I would link on the question what Kurti missed. He missed uh, w what he said in the election campaign, that he should establish a dialogue with Serbs that live here. Kurti Kurti is not interested for Serbs. Even those representatives of Serb list uh, that are in the assembly, he doesn't meet with them, he doesn't talk with them about the problems uh, that uh, t torment Serb community. We have those uh, discussions in Brussels. After that, we have uh, various statements of President of Serbia and of the leader of Kosovo. And we have uh, no idea what declaration, what that statement means. but. We we hear disagreements between Pristina and Belgrade regarding the notions. It, it means this is being repeated from meeting to meeting. And I think that what is tragic is that for 24 years now, after the war conflict in Kosovo, we were not able to establish a strong political garniture in Kosovo that would represent the interests and the rights of Serbs that live here. Milia and Danimir and everybody said, and everybody noticed that people are leaving here, children are going, 
Recently, we had an education fair in La Placella, and when you ask children when will you educate, they would say that it would be in central Serbia. Nobody is interested to stay and live here because there is no perspective here. The situation is on the verge of, uh, of a it means from Bucic and Petar Petkovic, the worst possible the statements are linked to Albin Kurti. On the other hand, Albin Kurti does not stop to call Serbs a genocide nation. He never leaves Milosevic aside. He died some years ago, and we have almost forgotten him, and we should forget him. But Serbs in the north of Kosovo, he generalizes that they are all criminals, but not all, all of them are criminals. We, there are normal Serbs who have different stands in vis-a-vis uh, -vis list Serbs. We can see what happened late, late in latest weeks. Cars have been burned. People dare not register their cars with Kosovo license plates. They should go to the South Mitrovica to reach their cars in RKS in order to travel to the other parts of Kosovo. But when they go to the other part of the town, they are forced to take off those license plates to hide their cars in garages and, and villages not to have their cars burned. This is a strange atmosphere that they reel. It's not a ripe and it's not a strange that, first of all, young people decide to leave Kosovo. Do we have any question for Milan? Alexander? How do you see elections in the north? If I, if I may? The question is whether they shall be held and what legitimacy would those elections have to considering that Serb list will not take part in it. We have a paradox that the international community is begging Serb list to take part in elections. It is tragic that uh, nobody, nobody appeared to take part in elections. We, we hope that Alexander Simic, and he has some commentaries on what the list, Serb list is doing or not doing. He did not candidate with his uh, civic initiative. Neither Bishava did candidate for the position of, of the mayor in Zubin Potok. There are some assumptions uh, that uh, some individuals Serbs from the north, they received an advice not to candidate. The question is, who shall go out in the elections if they are held? We all know wh what the, uh, the other or previous elections were. People went to to support Serbia. So they were forced, but this time it, it is not taking part in elections, and we do not expect Serbs, especially those institutions, to go out to vote. Okay. Uh, the reason for this, why our civic initiative didn't want to take part in the elections as the only one I supported that statement and that we left institutions for one reason. Pristina should understand that it should respect people who live there. And one of the conditions was the establishment of the Serb municipalities. When you live in institutions, but today we have some new elections, and I think that they should have taken part regardless of what happened in the last month. But we come to a momo, to a, to a vacuum of security and political situation when there is no police and no court. 
I, I know how it came to election and how it was realized. And what shall we do today? Should I ask my people to come to, to the voting places with the escort of the police? Is it a normal atmosphere? Is it normal to say to speak of some multi-ethnic and democratic Kosovo and in some future here with the help of special forces, how to take part in such elections. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I did not take part. Uh, and Serbs should decide for themselves. The Serb list gave that decision, maybe for some other reasons, because their rating has, has fallen, because pe people understood that they were dis disappointed from those leaders. And we come to a bigger problem. If elections are heard, are held, we heard that what, whatever the results shall be, they shall uh, uh, accept the. Is, is it is it good for for an Albanian to be the mayor in Zubir Potok in North Mitrovica? He said yesterday that he cannot help citizens, and this is real. So whatever it is, we shall live in occupation. Now we see what are the consequences and why did we not take part in elections? But under these conditions, it should have been placed put on the table in Brussels. We speak of the missing persons, it's a political question, B but uh, a, m a more important political question is to have the police and the, and the court being functional in the, in the north. In these conditions, this is not realizable. Even if the elections are held, it's how they shall be held. And if we elect that uh, mayor with 100 or 200 votes from 6,000, <coughs> voters in Zubin Poto. This shall be everything but non-elections, but the start of a new crisis that both Pristina and Belgrade want, because it will be a basis for the talks not to implement the Franco-German proposal. If they think of implementing that agreement, they, would, they should establish elementary conditions for a nor normal election process. On the other hand, it shall be a another trigger that will create tension and give a justified excuse to both parties. Pe people shall be between the hammer and the axe. Belgrade shall maintain that people here not to get away from the hammer, and the people shall suffer the hittings of that hammer. Many people pack their things and many th people will do it in the future until someone, uh, uh, until that process is going on the right way. I do not have too many quiet things to say. It is clear that the atmosphere is not healthy bec because of the security, uncertainty, and whose candidature in such elections is the North? It, if it is a not Serb list, I should be marked as a national traitor. Nobody wants to take part in, in such a thing that are in advance known as capital. I think it's uh, counterproductive to insist that elections be held at this time and under that atmosphere. The process that we entered into it is a bit chilly, and it's, it's not frank, and I think that the Franco-German agreement should be given the process to implement, to give the results in order to improve the situation and to have elections in a better atmosphere and to have Serbs return to the institutions. And I think in the representatives in political institutions, in lo local governments, first of all, I think of Serbs in police, the prosecution office, in courts, in all those places that are important for the life of Serbs in Kosovo. <coughs> Good. Do we have any other question? 
Just, just turn on the mic, please. How do you think to elect your representatives if you don't go out in elections? I mean, on the Serbian nation in Kosovo, if if they who shall who shall represent them? Do they indirectly elect to be represented by Serb list? As I said earlier, one of the reasons why Serb left institutions is exactly that one one-sided decisions that have been that are catastrophic that result from the fact that we are occupied by special forces who do nothing in the benefit of citizens. I, I do support that they fight corruption and smuggling. But the presence of special forces does not benefit anyone. There is an atmosphere. We, we had two months ago a situation which was advanced a, as a kind of a war situation and barricades. Now we come to an agreement that should be implemented in the future. This is a kind of normalization of relations, but nothing is normal. This is the problem. Brussels agreement has not been implemented. It, 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 it's a t tiny thing. And I think that doesn't mean that much for Serbs. We have declarations of Pristina that they do not want to establish the Serb Association. So if somebody doesn't want you, you don't have right to your voice. You, have, you do not have right to say your opinion. And I totally agree. Maybe we should have taken part in the election, but not in these circumstances. The cards in the north have have been burned because of the license plates RKA, RKS. Do you think, as a politician, I would ask my voters to come to the voting places if they were attacked or if their security was aggravated? I think that there should the elections should be postponed to a better to some time in the future when we have a better atmosphere, when people can freely and in peace go out in elections. As Mr. Gurley said, we all of that that are against Serb list, we have been called the national traitors for Kuti and all the others. It's not true. It's just a cover of Serb list that treated us like that because we prevented them in, in their in their getting wealthy. Serb list is not the legitimate representative of Serbs here. I know how previous elections were held when there was a police court and situations were a bit better. I completely agree that we should have taken part, but in this atmosphere there is no means to do it. Just shortly, in relation to this one, uh, concerning the legitimacy of Serb list, uh, regardless of elections in the port, we know from the elections that uh, that there is a less uh, misuse. People take part in elections; they use their civic right to vote. And whatever Serb list cannot be. Linked. It cannot e extinct, but in normal conditions, it, it's true that we have an an atmosphere that could take some decisions that go to the benefit of Serb list, and they will make them the most important factor. In fact, all these uh, disagreements. Uh, Helps of those uh, ec ec those extremists in the list. We want a normal conditions for elections and to take part in in that those elections. To say how the list is wrongful, but not fit for the conditions in half war as we have them in the north. Nobody wants to speak in this. How many? How much money they have misused? how they have cleaned the streets for 1,300,000 euros, and people are afraid of their own security. That's why I, th I think, and I did not say that unintentionally, uh, that Kurti 
It is to the benefit of Kurti and Vucic if, if something is on fire in the, in the north. Uh, the dialogue should continue to come to an agreement with this so the South can go back to the institutions, go out in elections to start with the implementation of what has been agreed upon, the establishment of the Serb Association, and that is the process, that is the road. I don't see any other way out. May I? Sorry. I would just shortly say I don't live in Kosovo, so I would not speak from that position, but we had some experience with boycott in Serbia, but it was in a better way than Serbs from Kosovo. I said that the, the leaving of institution from Serb right side was wrong. And I know, I know that it would happen for some time because, but uh, the consequences that result will be very difficult to, um, to correct that mistake in the future. We are speaking of the normalization of relations. Then Pristina and Albin Kurti, that administration and government should not exploit that mistake in order to aggravate the position of the other party. Someone has to make the first step and he shall go on a certain kind of resistance in their own uh, community. But the one that makes the first step he will open the way to the normalization and he will have a better perspective. The idea of Alvin Kurti, he missed the, he made a mistake because he missed the opportunity to exploit the, the, the fault of the other party. This is not the road that shall take us to the normalization, but to the radicalization and creation of bigger problems. What is the first? step toward the normalization of or to the preventing of further crisis and reconciliation. The first step is that the negotiators should look at each other from the human aspect. I will ex explore part of the interview that we had yesterday. They asked me if I would shake hands with Alvin Kurti because it, it seemed to me, I said, why not? And you see that it's not happening for 10 years. We have the, uh, news from Br Brussels and we have two negotiators that speak of different things. So nobody is interested about the core. We speak of some people who have missing, who are not among the lies, that they are Albanians and Serbs, and the shedding light into the truth should be something that links these two nations. But both parties try how to, how to play on the other side. This is a, a road that goes against the political processes that are ongoing on. So that normalization means that we should give the chance to normalization of some part of this agreement in good faith in order to change political circumstances and we would have a kind of a trust. The question of missing persons is the discussion topic for some time in Brussels in, and we had the Washington agreement concerning the missing persons issue and it did not start from the dead point and I don't think it will start because there is no political will from either part to resolve this issue. The only who is interested about the missing persons is the families who have their victims and they learn long for missing persons and the association dealing with that problem for, 40, for 24 years. But what Branimir said concerning elections and Serb list, whether Kurti sh shall make it an actor, oh, of course, because it does not have a competition. And not only currently, but it's, it's, it did not have competition for some years. Fear is the main reason that Serbs in the north of Kosovo did not candidate themselves for these elections, because they are afraid of labeling, threatening, blackmails, and burning of cars. You remember 
the experience from the past, how Oliver Ivanovich uh, went when he candidated in the last election and how he ended up. I remember how Branimir Stoyanovich uh, was in Gracianis when he candidated in local elections. I think that fear is the main factor that Serbs the, who are not of Serb list and who have a different opinion that they do not candidate themselves. First steps towards normalization. Uh, th that uh, statement is uh, not uh, bad, but everything is done in an atmosphere uh, that is sunk in hate and uh, personal attacks. And, and I think that nobody has a good will to implement something, but everything is done for that to show someone that this is uh, what is the other part do. And uh, there is uh, no good will to have normalization. Everything is going in hiding the picture that somebody won and then to get the political points of the price is paid by local ordinary people and the result of all this and i hope that the continuation of the dialogue will have tensions to ease and every escalation or radicalization on the ground shall bring us to the point where somebody will will suffer it is important for the situation to get better. I am sorry for the elections that they decided the election to be held. It won't be possible. But asking for excuse, it became a matrix and it is being repeated. And this is what Kurti shall explo exploit in the next period. He's saying that he will implement the laws. And when you are asked about the re uh, recording of the land for Monastery Dechani uh, and all the things that you could hear, the core is that that uh, that uh, it is good for them. Why do they do not want to establish the association? Concerning first step, I say that at the moment when I saw the plan, uh, there are some issues that are good and some not. But one of the good things is uh, that both sides agree that they will not work toward the escalation of the situation. Uh, and I think that one, it is one of the mo among the most important things. The first step, we should function between Pristina and Belgrade and not between people here. Belgrade should oblige him itself that people who live here in Belgrade they say that we are here and we shall start with the implementation of some good questions. We face the daily problems. In Zubin Potok in the north there is nothing. There is no cadastre, you can not get a paper, you have to go to Pristina, even though the agreement has been signed. For a simple paper, you have to go to Pristina, where people do not know Albanian, or they don't have their car, they have to pay the taxi and interpreter to get a paper. There are too many problems, freedom of movement, freedom of speech, education many economic problems. As a young person, I look at the future and I am sure that Albanian Serbs can and should live together. We were all born here, but we should respect each other. I say, I say the, the Belgrade, the, it is only the manip their political manipulation, the, the awakening of nationalism when they have not real politics. So there is no economy in Kosovo. People cannot get em employed. That's why they leave. The security situation, we should work to have a better living conditions and to have the first steps in order to overpass some problems that are present on the ground and then to speak about something concerning demarcation or whatever. Thank you. Anyone, anything to add? Ne? No? Thank you. Gurlovich mentioned, apart from the interview that we recorded yesterday, Slobodan Srpski,
And you can see it on uh, Sunday at 1800 hours. Thank you very much for your presence here. Thank you to you as well. Yes. I come from I am Edina Avdiu from Radio Television of Kosovo. I am interested, how do you see the pro dialogue process between Kosovo and Serbia? In the last meeting of the chief negotiators, they discussed energy issue, the implementation of the road map on energy, and the issue of missing persons. How do you see these talks within the dialogue process? Thank you. Just shortly, please, although we spoke during the debate, mainly, yes, is, the, is it the question addressed to all? I, I hope that will be enough understanding such as energy issue at the time that we live in, so it has become one of the most important questions, if there shall be enough uh, force to implement things and to talk even more what is more important. Unfortunately, what we hear today is that both parties speak what is in their interest. As people that live here, we are interested to have it implemented. As someone who take, took part in that dialogue, what should have been? I think that it is the last uh, final time to implement it and let us stop with the establishment of the association. It should be in such conditions it will not survive. I, I know that many extremists uh, enjoy it, but a, a number of Serbs will survive. And it could be a new reason. And I think that there shall be more wisdom between Serbs and Kosovo in order to learn that things that have been agreed to be implemented and try to resolve life issues because we both uh, in because we both uh, both parties fight for western economies and these are requests at the embassies in Pristina in 10,000 people monthly that a large number of young people, both Albanians and Serbs, shall go. And the question is, how many people will live here in 10 years? If political elites do not see this, then it is a big problem. Just shortly, please. Shortly. All agreements that have not been implemented so far, I'm speaking of Brussels agreement, uh, association and energy, uh, they hinder the implementation of other agreements because they create an atmosphere of uncertainty among the citizens that it should reflect. Uh, that's why a large number of Albanians and Serbs are not satisfied with the agreement. I think that the implementation of what has been agreed before, it's a precondition to start with the implementation of the Franco-German proposal. And what Branimir said, the word that is mostly heard in these two days in Gracinica in Kosovo is uncertainty. And not only insecurity issue, economic uncertainty, whether people shall repair their houses. They do not know because they do not know if they shall be here in the next five or ten years. Because there shall be a fight for territories with people who do not live there. Thank you very much indeed that you were here. Dear colleagues, this is over and I wish you a good day. Thank you.